Hi, I'm Raul. Welcome to OpenLP Guru, a set of video tutorials where I take you through how to use OpenLP's features. In today's episode, we'll be looking at creating custom sites in OpenLP and displaying them in your service. As I mentioned in the last video, my dark color scheme is from my operating system, not OpenLP. I use the KDE Plasma 5 desktop on Debian Unstable Linux, and I have it configured to use the Breeze Dark theme. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. Many churches have liturgical elements, like communion, creeds, or corporate prayers. Rather than trying to shoehorn these sorts of textual items into songs, OpenLP provides the custom slide type. Custom slides are text items with no particular structure other than slides. They can optionally be assigned a theme and contain a credit line. Custom slides can also use formatting tags like songs. To create a new custom slide, open the Custom Slides tab in the library if you don't already have it open, and click on the New Custom Slide button. This will open the Edit Custom Slide window, ready for you to type in your custom textual item. First, type in the title of your custom slide. For this tutorial, we'll type in Nicene Creed. Next, you'll want to add some words. Click the Add button and type the first section of the Nicene Creed into the Edit Slide window. Click the Save button to add that slide to your custom slide. Like in songs, adding slides one at a time can be time consuming. Just like in songs, an easier way to add a custom slide is to use the Edit All button. Click the Edit All button and the Edit Slide window will show with all the previous slides you've typed. Now you can paste the rest of the Nicene Creed into the Edit Slide window. This is all far too long and we will need to break it up into more slides so that it fits better on the projection screen. Let's go back and use the insert slide button to break the creed up into multiple slides. Click Save to now save the slides. The Edit Slide window will close and the Edit Custom Slide window will be visible again. If you want to display this custom slide with a particular theme, select the theme from the drop down at the bottom of the window. To use the default theme already set in OpenLP, leave the theme drop down blank. Below the theme drop down, there is a field to add credits if you need them. Now that the creed has been typed up, we can click on the Save button to save our custom slide to the database, and you'll see the custom slide listed in the Custom Slides tab of the library. If at a later stage you want to edit the custom slide, you can simply select the custom slide you want to edit in the list and either click the Edit button above the list, or right click and select Edit Custom Slide from the context menu. To edit a particular slide in your custom slide, simply select the slide you want to edit and click the Edit Slide button. To edit all the slides at once, click the Edit All button and all the slides will be available to edit in the Edit Slide window. To save your changes, click the Save button. If you have a lot of custom slides in your library, finding a particular custom slide can be laborious if you have to scroll through the entire list. The custom slides have a search function which you can use to find your custom slide. 
Just type in the name and OpenLP will search and filter down the list of custom slides to match your search terms. Adding a custom slide to a service is really, really simple. Select the custom slide you want to add to the service and click on the Add to Service button above the list of custom slides. For fans of drag and drop, just click, drag and drop it in the service section. Once you've added a custom slide to a service, simply double click on it in the service to make it display on your projector. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll look at customizing how songs, Bible verses and custom slides look on the projector by creating and editing themes. If you like this video and want to see more, please click the subscribe button below the video and click the bell icon to be notified of when I next post a video. Goodbye and God bless.